Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Throne and Liberty video. Dude, I was not expecting this. We have some huge news today. We have a brand new update that is coming tonight. And with it, no more being kicked from dungeons and a new matchmaking system as well. So you know what to do. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. All right, we have a brand new update 1.13 that's gonna happen later on tonight. Yep, we're gonna have some downtime total of six hours, my dude. Let's just jump right into it under general. Character deletion wait time is now set to 24 hours after initiating deletion of the character, which is awesome. Server transfer cooldowns are now displayed on the server transfer window and server transfer cooldown time has been increased to 30 days between transfer and the server transfer free ticket promotion will end tonight so if you want to get that last ticket head over to your shop and pick it up next up we have gameplay under gameplay dynamic events they improve rewards for all dynamic events modes to better match the effort made by players during the event how that's going to work out we're going to have to wait and see but if you haven't been getting drops hopefully this will fix that for you underfield bosses during conflict version of bosses Drop loot is now locked to the owner for 10 minutes after the boss is defeated. This allows players additional time to claim the loot after the conflict player ends. For guilds, hunt type guild contract defeat various monsters can now be initiated once per day. If completions carry over into a new day, a new contract will become immediately available. And also when leaders of the guild, their leadership reassignment now checks in order of highest available guild rank, highest available guild contribution, longest guild membership time. Under quest, the terrific trio of Caramine Forest corrected the map indicators for the quest area. In arena, players can no longer rejoin completed arena matches. Under crafting, they adjusted the crafting materials for rare blank lithio grass recipes. These no longer differentiate between epic and precious enchanted ink and simply use enchanted ink as a material of renamed precious enchanted ink. Fishing, they improved the hook animation when fishing and customization. They adjusted some character customization options to keep eyes safely behind eyelids. And the tutorial, they fixed the issue where players could become blocked by logging out during the morph portion of the tutorial. Next up, we have dungeons. Under dungeons, finally, a new matchmaking option will allow players to join a randomized dungeon from all available options to make those groups more easily feel. Players could previously only queue for a specific dungeon. They increased the bonus HP and damage buff applied when matchmaking dungeon groups from 5% to 10% and adjusted matchmaking logic to attempt to form groups of similar power progression more consistently. Party members can no longer be kicked from the party during active boss encounters. So if you was getting kicked, once you make it in there and you beat the boss, you're going to get your loot. Under localization, correct the tooltip error for the crossbow, quick fire, damage increased skill specialization. Correct the tooltip error for the staff passive ability, mana amp, that incorrectly switched to HP and mana values. Precious skill growth boots now properly indicate whether they upgrade active or passive skills. Corrected a tooltip error for the wand corrupted magic circle decaying touch skill specialization that claims the skill applied to multiple targets when it does not. And apply latest localization updates including the correction of several untranslated strings. Next up, we have UI. Under UI, guild contracts, time to next contract now displays more reliably after completing guild contracts. Amatoy Morph Menu, selecting the only view favorites option no longer cuts off the bottom of the UI in some instances. Party Board, various bug fixes related to awkward or incorrect behavior of the party board display. And Join Request now shows the character's weapon types and guild information. Manage Party Display, various bug fixes related to the behavior of the managed party group members UI. In Arena, completing weekly missions now displays notifications and the Arena UI will display the time until the next weekly mission refreshes. They also relocated the help button to the top right corner across multiple UI windows. Moderation warnings no longer appear when each login once acknowledged and added details to some connectivity related error messages. And they added a button to check name availability 
when creating or changing character names. Next up, we have controls. They fix some areas of the Amatoy and Morph menus that could not be navigated with the D-pad, and fishing will no longer be canceled by pressing B key while in fishing mode. And also, fix the case where charge abilities could still fire after canceling a long button press. Next up, we have PC, then Xbox, then PlayStation. For PC, they temporarily disabled the ability to attach the file uploads and character customization or support requests while they improve the file attachment functionality. For Xbox Series X and X and PlayStation 5 console only, added a new setting for console clients to control which on-screen characters display visual effects. Choose to show all, only guild, only party, or only your own VFX while in combat through the menu. This is huge and should help with a lot of lag and or bugs that will, you know, lag you out the game, right? They also fixed a case where players were unable to close the QR code pop-up, improve the quality of some tutorial texts and demon quests, fix the issue that prevented quest projection. And last but not least for PlayStation 5, PlayStation only servers. Party matchmaking now only forms parties with other players from PlayStation only servers. Yeah, so there's that thing. So get after it, my dude. Huge new update that is here, and it is good, my dude. I cannot believe they actually did all of this, and it's happening tonight. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Game or the White Rider. Videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.